and welcome back to magpie farm it's been a heck of a week to say the least uh, we've survived the storm as they say i think that's the worst storm that we've had since we've been here and join us this week as we show you some of the storm some of the storm damage and some of the repairs it's been a change to our normal week because we would have been focusing on doing more renovation and showing you that video. Yes, some renovation video has gone on, uh, but for now we're going to be focusing on the storm and show you exactly what's happened there and what we've done to try and remedy it. We've also got a look in on the kits. They are really growing and I'll show you that now. Uh, we've also transitioned the chicks so you'll see the chicks in their new environment and as i said we've done a few bits and bobs as well some tlc as i call it uh, to keep us smiling because we've always got to keep smiling <laughs> prepared the quarantine coop stroke the chick coop ready to move the nearly five week old chicks now five five and a half week old they're fully feathered so now we're going to transition them uh, into one of the barns with the rabbits uh, for them to get used to some cooler temperatures shouldn't be an issue and then in another two weeks or so we will transition the whole coop then into the main coop area for them. Okay, and time for them to go on their little journey. They're thinking, what's going on? New home. Come on, and on. Yes, yes, life is terrible, isn't it? You next. And you. And you. Come on. There we go. Oh, good old chicken, straight to the food and the water. Hopefully, they'll be happy enough there for their next part of their transition. And in the next couple of weeks, we'll look at moving them out to the main coop. So until then, no doubt, they'll enjoy themselves. <laughs> and now it's time to check in on the rabbits and the kits. And this was the sight that greeted me when I went in to check on them this morning. Uh, you always get a curious one. There's always one. Yes, they're definitely uh, a lot bigger now, aren't they? And a lot more curious with it. about everywhere. Keep in mind, two of these are originally Mildreds. When you put into foster with you to equal uh, the load, so to speak. And you always 
get one or two that are more curious than others. Okay, and welcome back. And now, once we had the fun bit of transitioning the chicks to their new area and to the new quarantine pen, now we have the fun part of uh, repairing some of the damage from the storm the other night. As you can see on the screen now, uh, it was bad and it lasted for two days. Uh, most of that two days we didn't have any electricity and there was quite a bit of damage. Uh, thankfully, not serious damage apart from the polytunnel which was absolutely uh, wrecked. We had a couple of fences that have come down so we're going to be repairing those today and we are actually going to attempt to see if there's anything we can do with the polytunnel. So come join us and uh, be with us as we're slightly miserable but trying to keep smiling. We always try to keep smiling uh, as we see if there's anything salvageable from the uh, Polytunnel. Okay, so part of the damage we had as well was a number of the fences blew over. So uh, we need to try and fix these as much as we can. You hold it? Yeah, I'm holding it. Oh, gosh. Some of them are easier fixes. Than others. And as you can see, this is what is left of the polytunnel. Uh, the structure is bent. Uh, but that's not the end of the world. It's the cover and whether that is uh, totally gone or not. Uh, the structure itself held up. It was the cover element that isn't. So uh, part of the work, me and Marios was talking earlier, is that we're going to have to clear around the sides of the polytunnel, try to reset the cover that's on there, and uh, somehow then reattach it and secure it uh, enough. So uh, let's have a look and let's get to it. What do you say, Mariosh? Yeah, let's crack on. Okay. Well, the first thing we needed to do was actually see if this cover was uh, salvageable. So let's get the cover back on, we thought. And then we can see the state of it, see the rips and if it's actually going to be uh, usable. If you're enjoying this week's video, please consider giving us a like and subscribing if you haven't done already. And by all means, leave a comment down below. We always answer every comment. So we did actually have some luck on the left hand side as you're looking at the polytunnel. The original cover did stay uh, buried on the left hand side because originally when we placed the polytunnel there the frame itself was secured into the ground with pins and the cover itself we buried with sand all around. From what? We'll have to get all this from here. So the next step was actually trying to square up the uh, cover with the frame, okay. and then 
As soon as we did that, we could uh, see there were a number of holes in the polytunnel uh, cover. And then we would have to dig out around the left hand side and uh, actually start the work of trying to rebury it. Well, I'm happily surprised that there's no major, major rips in there. There are some, though. made the same mistake now as I made when the wind started thinking let's open the polytunnel at both ends so the wind can go straight through and not catch it and because it wasn't secured down and we'd opened the front of it the uh, wind was picking up again uh, and actually lifting the cover off so we had to sort that out first So we then started to uh, pull back the old sand and earth that we'd originally used uh, to secure it in the first place. Uh, to be able to start the process of trying to secure it again. But then, due to a lot of the building work that we had going on, we thought, well, hold on, we've got a lot of bricks here, heavy bricks. So, I went off to get some bricks with the wheelbarrow. So we could then place them on there and then get the earth on top.
and then we started encountering the same problem that we had earlier the wind was starting to pick up and was taking the uh, cover off with it so uh, we decided to close up the cover as best we can and then uh, restart with the bricks and see if that uh, helped resolve the situation it had been uh, three days of uh, constant high winds so uh, it was getting a bit tiring to be perfectly honest and uh, poor Mario and myself were uh, a bit snappy with each other <laughs> that's the truth of the matter that's the reality when uh, things sometimes go wrong uh, that the worst of us can also come out as well but we're still smiling Maybe better than it was before, Matt, yeah? because they were bricks all along.
do that. It has quite a while. Something like central. Yeah. I still find it quite comical though that the government never actually put out a weather warning until bloody quarter to twelve at night. And our next problem that we encountered was that all the internal fixings uh, of the cover that connect to the frame of the actual polytunnel had broken and there was no way to repair them other than making holes, more holes should we say, in the cover itself to secure it to the actual frame. But then Mariosh came up with an ingenious idea. We had quite a lot of our PVC piping left over from when we put uh, extra water outlets uh, around the farm. So he suggested that we split them and cut them into sections and use them as very tough clips uh, around the outside of the frames. And that worked magically. So Mariosh measured up and went off and cut up bits of PVC piping to use as clips and then i focused on using the duct tape duct tape was our friend it filled many and covered should i said many many holes <laughs> in this poly tunnel uh, and you hear the old adage of being stuck together with tape and spit well in this case it's pvc pexy piping and duct tape Okay, so we've managed to get the cover back on. We've done as much repairs to it as we possibly can do. Uh, and now it's just a tidy up. And as you can see, we'd even started putting the frames in for the beds here. But we'll get there and we'll recover and we'll rebuild. Eventually. <laughs> We hope you've enjoyed this week's video. So until next time, from Lynn and Marius at Magpie Farm, have a great week.